All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad 330-15 IGF. All right, sorry, my nose is all stuffed up, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. All right, let's turn this off real quick. All right, so, oh no, I'm worried this thing's going to be have some other issues because it feels like the hinges are breaking. Um, anyways, we're going to use a screwdriver to open this thing up. We're using a JS1. All right, we're going to remove all the screws. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern. I remove them. So we got four here. Then we got a bunch here, one here, one here, one here, and four more down here. So again, I like to keep them all in order. So that way I can tell where exactly I got them from. All right. Oh, my phone's actually about to run out of storage for this, so let's get all these screws out, and then uh, I'll pause for a bit so I can <coughs> remove those. Some of the screws are missing on here, but make sure that you remove all of yours, okay? So on this one, this screw's missing, and this screw's missing. Then we got four more down here. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't, um, it's always helpful to watch a few of my other videos so that way YouTube knows to share my channel. All right. Once you get all the screws out, if you're just trying to get the CD drive out, you just remove that screw. Then you go here. I like to use my fingernail to go up and down as I kind of pull on it. And that will slowly like wiggle the CD drive out. Okay. All right, so just keep going, and there we go. There, we have the CD drive. You can also replace this with a hard drive uh, caddy. Um, this is the thinner kind. Um, I think this is like a 9.5 or 9.7 millimeter thickness. The other one, the thicker ones are like 12 point something. So if you look for an, uh, the caddy, um, I think if you find one that's in the nine millimeter zone or range, then you'll find the right one. All right, let's see, is there the one key recovery on the button, button on the side here? So this laptop has the one key recovery little hole on the side here uh, with that little uh, upside down like U thing with an arrow. If you need to reset your computer or something, you can press that with a little needle when the computer's off. It will start up the computer and it'll allow you to go into the BIOS, choose the start um, startup device, things like that. Um, but yeah, all right, anyways. Uh, let me delete some stuff from my phone real quick, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and pop the cover off. Usually, the easiest way to do that, if we can, is get in the little gap between the palm rest and the bottom cover with my fingernails. You can use plastic pry tools, but I find fingernails work best. So get in there, push on the bottom, and pull up with your fingernails. You can see how easily it pops out. All right, now that we pop that, we're going to go around to the side and continue the same thing. Get in there and go ahead and pull up and pop it out. Oh, this plastic casing and stuff is all cracked. I don't know what they did to this. Oops, I missed one screw here. Don't forget all. Don't forget to get all the screws out. Okay. All right. I thought that one was missing a screw for some reason, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue popping all of that out. Okay. So we'll go up the sides and then we'll go up the front and then we'll go over this side. The back we might have to do last. So let's see here. Can we get in here? Okay, pop that out. This one, if you can, pull this little plastic piece out that way as you pull it up because the little clips hook over that way. Okay, it looks like they have this part also a little bit cracked here. All right, but uh, okay, there we go. So we got these sides on the front so we can kind of lift this and then you kind of just wiggle it as you lift and there we go. There's the bottom cover removed. All right, so we got the battery here, CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Looks like there's not even a fan. It just uses a big piece of metal that all the heat goes into here. Interesting. All right, you got a two and a half inch SATA hard drive here. We're going to be upgrading this to an SSD and then putting, um, uh, when cleaning, doing a clean install of Windows. You got the LCD LVDS connector here. If you're going to mess with this, make sure to remove or disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds before you take this out. Um, and you do want to open the computer when you do that. 
All right, you got the ram underneath here. So I just get underneath this metal cover with my fingernail and then pull it up. Here you go. You can pull these two tabs aside. It pops out. Looks like there's only one stick of ram to replace here. And this is a 4 gig PC4 2666V. Um, I don't know if this has 4 gigs mat, like total or if it has like some soldered RAM because I don't see soldered RAM there. Sometimes it could be on the other side of the motherboard. But uh, from there, it only has 4 gigs. So keep that in mind. All right. There's only one upgradable stick. Charge port is soldered to the motherboard. Not a good design. Wireless card is here. You pull the antennas up from the tails to pop them out. Um, I do have videos showing this kind of stuff all close up, so if you need that kind of detail, um, you'll probably want to watch those. You got the keyboard connector here. There's a flip latch. You can flip that up and then pull that out. All right, this kind of battery, I um, get all the screws out, lift it up, and then go underneath and pinch the wires like that to pull it out. All right, CMOS, BIOS, RTC, real-time clock battery I already mentioned. You got the optical disk drive, CD drive connector here that connects the motherboard from that. And yeah, so... What we're going to do now is remove the hard drive, <coughs> not really much else. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Actually, I'll zoom in a lot. Okay, so we're just removing the hard drive for this repair. Okay, so this has a little tab. You push it in, and then you can lift it up. You want to be careful not to lift too high, because then you can damage this connector here. And this connector is like slotted in there, so you can kind of hold this the plastic around here and then you can kind of wiggle and pull the hard driver SSD out <coughs> just like that so this is a two and a half inch SATA SSD all right so it has this thing wrapped around it so you can pull this out and it has little nubs that stick out and go into the screw mounts um, so that's how you remove it you just pull that aside and take that out just like this very simple okay so we're gonna get the SSD and plop that in very nice and simple to do. So we're just going to cut this one open. Okay. <clears throat> open this up. Oh, why is it stuck? Jeez, why is it not want to come out? Okay, I don't know why the packaging is being difficult on here. Alright, so these SSDs are pretty good and pretty cost effective. So I've been using a lot of these now and so far they've been pretty good, the Lexar ones. Alright, if you need a link I can send you one. Alright, so anyways, you want to make sure it goes the right way so it faces this way when you put this back in and the foam goes down. So we'll line this up with the screw mounts there, push that in, go on the other side, pull this back so you can get that in, line that up those screw mounts in and then just slide it over okay so like this slide it into place make sure it lines up with the connector push it all the way in and then push that down all right very nice and simple to get back in and the foam kind of pops it back up so you do need this little plastic thing to go back to hold it in place a little all right I don't know it keeps wanting to pop back out but there we go all right very simple so we're going to just put the bottom cover back on now and we should be good to go all right let me get like a snapshot there okay all right <clears throat> now we're just gonna get the bottom cover on since there's no fan there's you don't really have to worry about like dust and stuff in here all right not really a problem we're just gonna go ahead and drop this down click this all around here okay just like that, make sure to push these back in as well. And then get all the screws back in, and that's pretty much it. Very nice, simple design to work with. We'll get this CD drive back in. All right, the only thing is if you break the charge port, um, yeah, it's soldered, so you're gonna have a tough time with that, if, um, assuming you know how to solder, all right? Um, and then the, no fan, so I don't know, the processor might run slow, but anyways, the customer was asking why it was slow that might be why all right but also their hard drives were having issues all right so anyways we're just going to get all the screws back in hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did again please make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well um and if it helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing a little to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living 
Uh, if you can't, it'd also be very helpful if you could um, watch a few of my other videos to tell the algorithm um, that people want to watch my videos. Alright, so... Oh, I forgot to show the battery model, so I'm going to show a close-up of that in a bit because I do have to work on a second one as well. So I'll actually open up that second one and show you the battery model of that while I'm running Windows on here because I need to install Windows. Oh, I should probably show that as well. Um, so let me do that. Sorry, it's going to be <laughs> after I already said that the video is over, um, but we're going to keep going. Okay. <clears throat> So, got all the screws in, let me grab my Windows USB installer and then show you how we start that up. We are going to have to use a pin to push the one key recovery button, um, but yeah. Alright, so we're going to be putting Windows 10. I created a Windows 10 USB, bootable USB. If you don't know how to do that, I can also send you a link for that kind of thing. Um, just let me know. Okay, so we got that in. We need to push the one key recovery button over here. Again, you can use a pin or a SIM eject tool or whatever. Um, the laptop screen does need to be open. So open that up. And then we will press on the little, oops, sorry. The one key recovery button right here, okay? Push on that. The computer should turn on, assuming there's battery. And I mean, I turned it on earlier, so. All right, so here you can see. Now you have normal startup, BIOS setup, boot menu, and system recovery. We're gonna go to boot menu. And we're going to boot our SanDisk Cruiser USB flash drive here. And I put Windows 10 64 and 32 bit on there. We're going to do 64 bit. All right. So I'm going to let this go. Um, basically, what I do is I do the custom install, make sure to delete all partitions so that there's nothing on there, and then start new. Um, but yeah, let me show you the battery real, real quick on the other one. So I'll be back. All right. So I'm back with the other one. And here's the battery model number. All right. Oops, give me a second. All right, excuse me. So the battery model number is right here. L16M2PB1. All right, so that's the battery model number. Two screws here, JS1 as well, and then one screw here and one screw up here. After that, you can just pull the battery up. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.